Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Now there's no need to worry, I know what you're thinking straight away, what's going on with the picture. Unfortunately, uh, while I was out shooting a episode of the Pulse Jet engine, um, when I finished my camera tripod fell over and smacked into the ground and now my uh, lens is broken. So uh, I've tried to fix it but I can't, so I've actually ordered a new lens which should be here soon. So now you're just going to have to bear with me uh, with this video, uh, it is a little bit blurry I know around the edges, uh, it looks a bit strange. Uh, but anyway, I uh, just want to give you a quick update on a couple of things. Uh, first of all, my uh, TBS long range uh, um, quad, um, I've now actually fitted a gimbal to. As you can see, we've got a brushless gimbal on here. Uh, again, I'm doing a full episode kind of uh, on this, uh, but I can't finish that until I get my new lens. Because I want to show you guys it all nice and close up and all clear. And as you can see at the minute, we're all uh, looking a bit like we're all drunk. Uh, so uh, that will be coming up soon. Uh, obviously the elephant in the room here, this bright orange uh, HPI Savage Special Edition 2012. Now I actually shown you a video of this uh, last year, um, I think it was last July sometime like that. Uh, it wasn't this actual car, that was my uh, uncle's car and he's actually still got it. Uh, and we've still got about another five HPI Savages there. So uh, his is still boxed, uh, as you can see I've unboxed mine. Uh, it hasn't even been ran in so I'm going to do an episode on that. Uh, my TBS Discovery with the open pilot uh, inside. Uh, I'm really enjoying this. It's been uh, a lot of fun. Uh, so I'm going to sell my um, Blade 350QX because uh, it flies very similar. And uh, I'm a little bit afraid of uh, crashing the blade because it does seem a little bit weak. Those um, plastic arms and the, the whole frame just feels a little bit flimsy. Uh, as you've seen in my previous video, I can crash this around quite a few times. I've hit the trees, hit branches, gone into the bushes, everything. And uh, it really holds up very well. Uh, I'm really enjoying this uh, Open Pilot flight controller. Um, I'm gonna, some of you guys have asked me questions about it, so I'm going to answer them uh, now as well. So I'm just going to go off some of the comments that have been posted on my last video. Uh, Robin Adams says, I do wish you would please decode the titles for us. Well, dummy me, most seem like they read it and understand it fine. CC3D TBS, it's like a foreign language to me. Uh, trust me, once you get more into multi-rotors, you'll learn all this. Uh, TBS stands for Team Black Sheep, which is like, um, say, the, the uh, make of uh, this uh, quadcopter, as you can see, TBS Discovery. So it's Team Black Sheep. Uh, Team Black Sheep Discovery. This is the this is their Discovery frame. Um, obviously, yeah, Team Black Sheep do other things like the Capriana, which is a plane, and uh, various other things. But yeah, that's what that stands for. TBS Discovery, Team Black Sheep, and Discovery is the model. Now, the next comment is from John Ellenberger. He says it flies really nice. Uh, what software am I using? And he likes the, the cool look of the TBS Discovery. I'm just using whatever it comes with. I downloaded the Open Pilot software and uh, it, you can update it straight away. I've done that and then done the calibration. And uh, so, whatever's currently newest at the moment, I'm guessing I'm on. There's a lot of settings to be set up to get it to fly the way you want. Uh, so, I've actually borrowed them from a friend and used them, and it seems to work fine. Again, if I'm doing a full video about the Open Pilot, I'll give you all those settings, uh, but I'm not sure if anyone wants to switch over to Open Pilot yet. But what I will say is it does fly very, very nice. Uh, you can shut the motors completely off in the air and free fall, and then just turn them back onto full if you want to. So I'm really enjoying it. Paul Pause says, Love the vid. So, how are you liking it compared to the DJI NASA? How easy is it to set up looking at getting one? Well, compared to the NASA, it's an animal. That's that's the only way to describe it really accurately. Uh, it's definitely an animal. You can uh, give it full throttle and just go crazy. You, you, when you give it full throttle, you get full throttle. If you do that in a uh, uh, a NASA, then you, they probably give you about seventy percent throttle, if that. This this is really fantastic. As you've seen in the video, I uh, uh, done some fast takeoffs from the ground, so from a standing still straight up, and then I'll free fall down and just a couple inches from the ground, whack the throttle back on, and boom, uh, it just levels out nicely. Uh, you just give them the ground I really enjoy it I like the fact I can fly along shut off those motors drop down between some trees and then power it straight back up again you do that in a NASA it's like you're a feather you want to float down it takes forever I'm really enjoying this kind of flying now uh, it, it's easier 
uh, even though it's a bit crazy it's easier to go around those trees and around the stumps and uh, uh, than it is with a, a NASA because the NASA is very restrictive but again NASA is not made for this kind of flying NASA is only for uh, aerial video and photography I contacted DJI regarding this and said you know you really need to bring out a, uh, a flight controller that is able to fly uh, and do 3d stunts and things like that but uh, their response was no they don't really want to do that they're only going to do uh, photography and uh, videos so they want their um, quads to be very stable very controlled and you know uh, that's just how they want that so that's a bit of a shame it would have been nice if DJI did bring out a very simple um, flight controller just to do all your crazy stuff on but for now uh, let's see what happens maybe in the future they might bring it out Jake Bullet says nice to see you using a proper FC uh, flight controller for you guys that don't understand the, the uh, acronyms for it uh, doing a bit of garden maintenance on the side <laughs> you thinking me it's when I was flying through the trees chopping off the branches uh, he says the video was a bit low resolution now I did actually go through uh, a couple of YouTube videos and try and find a good uh, resolution settings or good render settings for Sony Vegas so uh, I changed all the settings and uploaded it uh, when you watch it on a mobile uh, device it looks fantastic but if you watch it on a PC it doesn't look very good uh, and for some reason if you watch it in 4 480p it looks better than it does in 1080p uh, so again I'm going to need to play around with the render settings in Sony Vegas uh, another thing I want to mention is that uh, I've still got my 550 obviously uh, I haven't flew it since um, I done the NASA uh, IOSD video uh, reason for that is I'm a little bit worried about flying it uh, ever since my other 550 came flying out the sky and just demolished itself and my GoPro um, I've been a bit worried about flying it but uh, I've got a Tarek gimbal now so I think I may um, actually connect that to it get the landing gear on which you haven't seen and uh, maybe we'll go out and uh, do some like uh, beauty shots I'll do a whole video on just uh, you know you see these people put videos out with just the music and um, gimbaled shots um, just fantastic kind of shots uh, I'll, I'll do kind of one of those videos uh, just so we can see the uh, F550 in action again I'd just like to say a big thank you to ATI for sending me out the uh, GoPro Black Edition uh, that replaced my one that was destroyed on my old F550 there may be some more coming from them in the future as I mentioned I've got the gimbal on the uh, TBS long range here so we're going to be doing some really cool stuff with that and we're going to try and break the uh, one mile mark which I done last time we're going to see how much more further we can actually push out but this time we'll have the gimbal on board as well so the shot should look uh, kind of uh, smooth as I said we will be doing an episode on the uh, gimbal itself. I did use a Martinez uh, controlling board for the gimbal uh, which seems to work okay but uh, I've ordered uh, another one from China so when that gets it here we'll do a full episode on that. Now the HBI Savage City Sat is actually for a contest um, HBI is doing a contest where you make a video about your uh, HBI and uh, if you're good enough you can win a uh, Baja. Now I did have a Baja a very long time ago and I regretted selling it at the time, as I did regret selling all of my cars. Uh, but if I didn't, I wouldn't have got into the quads. But anyway, uh, yeah, this is why I've got it. We're going to uh, try and make a video, enter it into the competition, and uh, see if we can try and win a Baja, because then uh, I can bring you even more videos on different RCs. Uh, I would like to get into the RC crawling. Uh, I was looking at the actual Wraith but uh, very expensive, saying that this was actually more expensive, but I kind of justified it because I'm selling the blade and uh, I may have a chance at winning a uh, Baja. So uh, that's uh, kind of how my brain's thinking at the minute. We can uh, buy something and uh, win something so we can continue with the uh, the uh, episodes. That's not to say there won't be any more episodes uh, if I don't win because we've still got a lot of uh, things to do with gimbals and quads and lots of different kinds of videos and winter's coming so uh, I've got a couple of ideas on what I'm going to be doing. Uh, there's a few locations that I actually still want to fly in. Uh, there's some castle ones, uh, I'll travel out to Wales and do some castle uh, flying and uh, see if we can get through the ruins and things like that. <clears throat> and there's also a, uh, a city video uh, which I'm thinking of doing, maybe going early in the morning before anyone gets there and uh, flying around the city so uh, I've still got that to come and uh, DJI actually still has their uh, photo competition uh, going so I, I may see if I can uh, enter that as well uh, you win a phantom vision talking of the phantom vision a few people have been having problems with their batteries uh, this is actually a software problem with the firmware and DJI is actually going to bring out a new firmware that is going to resolve the problems with your batteries so fingers crossed that comes out soon and fixes all your uh, problems with the uh, phantom vision 
I think DJI got it a little bit wrong this time sending out the units to uh, actual shops to beta test now um, the problem is uh, if you're sending a prototype out to a shop okay they know a lot about it but they're a shop and they have to work and they haven't got the time to be doing the research and, 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 and checking out the whole quad and constantly trying to find any problems with it because at the end of the day they're trying to run a business and you know you, they can't be working for you for free uh, it would be better if done like they did last time with the gimbal send them out to uh, normal users like myself or you um, and you know uh, I've got plenty of time to do reviews on it and keep it in the air do all the tests that I need to do and come across any problems and quickly tell DJI that there is a problem and then they can fix it before it actually comes out we are all chomping at the bit saying come on where is it when's the vision coming out uh, like we are now with the, the Phantom 2 which is supposed to be coming out nobody knows what it's all about um, I suspect it's going to be a Phantom Vision with uh, H3 2D gimbal on or maybe a free access gimbal I don't know I'm a little bit disappointed with DJI they did say that the uh, beta testers of the H3 2D gimbal would be able to get a gimbal for 50% off uh, I've tried to get mine for 50% off but uh, they don't seem to be uh, awarding that anymore uh, which is disappointing because they didn't stick to their end of the bargain now the last thing I want to talk about is the Hobby King Pulse Jet. Uh, I've had a lot of problems trying to get this to go. Uh, we went out one night and tried to get it going using a hand pump and we managed to get uh, a couple of um, bangs out of it and a couple of little flames and stuff but uh, unfortunately we didn't actually get it running because the pump broke. Uh, the next day I went to a car garage we set it all up and um, we tried to get it going using their compressor. Now they had a huge compressor, lots of air and again we couldn't get it to go. Um, then my camera fell over and broke the lens which was very unfortunate um, um, so we never really got that going then the Venturi snapped on the top the little air bit so that was very very weak uh, that's something to look out for if you are um, if you've got one of these uh, but I'm gonna see if I can try and solder it back on I don't know if that's gonna be possible uh, I need to find some other way of getting the air to uh, open up those uh, reed valves and you know get this thing actually running for once because the plan was to stick it on a HBI Savage uh, again for that contest which I was talking about earlier so uh, that's all for now guys there's probably more which I've already forgotten but uh, I do apologize for that there's plenty more videos to come I do appreciate you watching and subscribing stick around and I'll see you soon